Lord will bless your name, Jesus. Hey, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, Rene. Hallelujah. God bless you. Things is about to happen. Hallelujah. Invite your friends. Thank you, Lord. Bless you, TB. God bless you. Great grace. God bless you. Kadabada bada, lebantele bebe kapala bada. Hallelujah. God bless you. Keep inviting. Hallelujah. Amen. Zedebebebebe abaradish. God bless you, Friday. Hallelujah. Hmm. Telebendele bebe abaradish. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hmm. In the name of Jesus Christ. Will I prophesy upon you that after today you will see huge results in your life? Amen. The devil has lost his battle. I said the devil has lost his battle over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Amen. Some of you, you have your honey in your house. Just put a, a sip of your honey in your mouth. Hallelujah. Take a sip of the honey and put it in your mouth. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Honey. Hallelujah. Amen. You ready? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead and begin to, let's go ahead and begin to bless the name of the Lord. What a wonderful God. What a glorious God. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Zade Badabakaya. Regede Bia Pantalaba de Lebebe Kapaya. Ligada Rababa. Rebebe Bia Shandabaha. Isoge de Vendele Makapa. Rebebe Bia Sandabaha Labadia. How many of you are ready for real fire on this tonight? You are, you are ready for real fire. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> How many of you remember uh, the revelation that I shared uh, a few days ago? Um, that I said there was like an army, a barrage of demons. How many of you remember that? A barrage, a barrage of, 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 of warfare and virulence. How many of you remember that? It's happening. Amen. The past few days, uh, yesterday, I believe, yesterday and a day before, I came into the office and I began to feel all kinds of. <laughs> I said, What? What is this? Amen. Hallelujah. Sometimes you see things, you just think it's for the prophetic. Hallelujah. And uh, I don't know, you know, this, this thing that is happening in, also in Las Vegas, we're going to pray. How many of you are ready for prayer? Hallelujah. Those on Periscope, those on Periscope, please invite people. Quickly, amen. Send an invite. Hallelujah. The power of God is going to rock the, 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 the atmosphere. Hallelujah. Say this with me loud and clear. Say everything. You, you remember what we said in the month of August? That before we enter into the ember month, there's what they call satanic research. How many of you remember that? New inventions to bring blood, demonic blood. How many of you remember that? Levante <laughs> levos. We're going to go to the roots. Whoever is behind the sabotage, whoever is using this, amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Shout this loud and clear. Say, my father, my father, my father. This morning, I arise with divine strength. I arise in glory. And I sit in heavenly places. I am seated with Christ. And in the name of Jesus Christ, Every spell, every enchantment, every divination, every sorcery, every witchcraft, every assignment against my life. As I pray, let it be canceled today. Say right now, every curse from the waters, every judgment from my family, 
every declare, evil declaration against me for my work, for my job. Every witchcraft from my dreams. As I begin to pray, I destroy them by fire. Open your mouth and begin to thunder fire. Regede baraka zaparanda ribebia. Legede rebebe rebebia baradia. Zadaba rababa rebebe kabanda ya. Ilegede rebebe kapa. Ragada rababa rebebe kapante le bondolio. Ila branda rebebe kabanda ya. Regede rebebe rebebe kabe rebebe rebebe kabe rebebia. Regede rebebe rebebe kabe rebebia. Ilegede rebebe rebebe kabe rebebia. Mada rababa rababa kabanda rebebia. Regede rebebe rebebe kabe rebebia. Legede rebebe rebebe rebebia. Amen. 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 Sheila, do you hear me? What you experienced few days ago, the Lord allowed it. Are you hearing me? I asked the Holy Ghost a question yesterday or two days ago. Why did this happen to you? And I came up with all kinds of resolution, all kinds of ideas. Just now, the Holy Ghost whispered to me, just now, he allowed it. He allowed it. Right from childhood, God has been teaching you the ways of to adapt in him. God has been teaching you that you can't take any step Except you get permission from him. God has been asking you, my son, my daughter, depend on me. Do nothing until I ask you to do. Lean on me. Lean on me. Lean on me. Are you hearing me today? And there are many things. God is you are you are somebody that God has singled you out to open your ear gates. God has been teaching you the ways of the spirit that you don't move hastily. You are being led by the spirit. And when you are not led, there is always consequences. Consequences. And the Lord is saying, from this day, mark your date. That you will choose God to hear his voice. And you will make no decision until God has spoken to you. That is what I am hearing in the realm of the spirit. Today, I just heard it just a few seconds ago. Tell her. This is what I have for her. If she's ready to walk with me to that realm in God, the Lord says, I will lead you like a sheep. I will lead you and lead you, hide you from the enemy. Hasten not in your decisions because such as these are preparing many who will be my loyal servants, who will become my bond servants. And they will not move until I instruct them. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. <laughs> My Jehovah. Sound is not a clear. Liko Vantele Moko Go Supramaya. Rebe Bebe Ashuda Bahakapa. Say this loud and clear. I have seen a lightning respond to that altar. That release judgment against you. Every wicked altar projecting evil judgment against me. As you say, scatter, there will be a lightning from heaven. It will locate that village, that it will locate that house that has prepared evil against you. Whatever your picture has been gathered against you. Every old evil altar hmm. praying against my life. <laughs> Be destroyed by fire. 
be destroyed by fire every evil altar every evil altar lege de rababa rebe bi abrania izaga da barababa rebe bi abrania lege de rababa rebe bi abrania let the altar be destroyed let the altar be destroyed irege de rebe be rebe be gabaya irege de rebe be gabarandiria ile bande rebe bi abrandiri be bia irege de rebe be rebe be abrania azide be der be bia irege de rebe be rebe be gabandiria Zidi via da bara di ribebia, elege de rababa rebebia bara di, raga da rababa rababa gabanda rababa yaba, elege de rebebe rebebe gabando ribebia, zede bara baba rebebe gabia, irege de rebebe rebebe gabia ribebia, laga da rababa rababa gabia rebebe rebebe gabia, irege de rebebe rebebe gabia bara dia, irege de rebebe gabia ribebia, araga da rababa gabia ribebia, irege de rebebe gabia, lebrega da rebebe gabia gabia, irege da rababa gasundaria, elege da ribebia ya bradia er ke der be 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 er ke der be 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 er ke der be 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 I am seeing strong thunderstorm in the spirit. Say evil authors calling my name. Scatter by fire. Regede braka sotoria. Ellerereredeya parada. Regede braka terikatea. Every evil author kale bratosa. Regede braka daraka darikaya. Shandahaya, Lirosa Kata, Scatter by fire, Scatter by fire, and Legate Ranaria Sanebo Sabahaya, let the evil water scatter, let the evil water scatter, I say scatter by fire, and Regate Rebebeaba, Ilagate Rebebeaba, and Regate 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 Rebebeaba, Rebebe Gabaya, Ilacadaraba, Rebebe Gabia, Rebebe 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Strangers in my body. Somebody will get serious deliverance today. Strangers in my body. Come out by fire. Are you ready for prayer? Strangers in your body enter sometimes without your permission. When you say strangers in my body, I pull you out by fire. Come out by fire. Are you ready to pray? Don't worry whether you are in prayer. Don't worry whether you are in faith. Don't worry whether you believe or not. As you are praying, something will burst in the spirit. Hallelujah. Every strangers in my body. Every strangers in my mind. Every stranger in my organs, every stranger in my belly, every stranger in my house, planted by the devil, I pull you out by fire. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Only three people are praying, they are scared of that prayer. You are scared of that prayer. 
<laughs> Every unclean spirit in my body that came through dreams, that came through food, that came through sex, I put it out by fire. Every unclean spirit hiding in my body, hiding in my soul, hiding in my destiny, and put it out by fire. Every unclean spirit that came into my life through food, through sex, through my dreams, I command it to come out. I charge thee, I cast you out of my body thank you my jesus In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Say the seed of witchcraft. Planted in my body. To remotely. To remotely control my life. The seed of witchcraft. Planted in my body to remotely control my life. You know, you know, you know, sometimes so I've seen sometimes people are anointed, and when God answers their prayer, God literally will connect them either to a minister or connect them to people. And as soon as the people begins to gain favor with them and God is about to release a grace on them and anger arises within their temple and anger begins to interrupt the plan that God has for them and the anger will begin to oppose them stand between them and their helper sometimes even influence the helper against them that, and that is the wrong time to get angry that is the wrong person some people express their anger towards friends when they should express their anger towards their enemies hallelujah it is foolishness to exercise your anger and to let go of your anger listen angers are demons it's not you it's not your character but if you cannot tame that animal that beast called anger and you let it override you you let him speak on your behalf towards your helper that door might never be opened again. Are you hearing me? If you allow anger to announce you before the Holy Ghost announces you, the door might shut down against you. Some people allow anger to talk and they think that they are feeling so intelligent. You are disgracing your grace. You are covering your grace, allowing flesh to cover grace. Don't do that. Don't do that. When I talk like this and there's unction and God is speaking revelation, open your ears. Some of us are so angry that when we begin to speak, what happened to Moses? He was in a journey with God. And God began to speak and arise, a beast. And the grace that Moses carried in 40 days, that anger began to overshadow that grace. And all God was seeing was anger. Filthiness. Anger was announcing Moses. Destroying his character, the favor that Moses got. How can God speak to David, a man after my own heart? How can God speak about Abraham, my friend? What did God say about Moses? What did God say about Moses? Abraham had no disobedience in his blood. Moses was an obedient man, but anger overruled and canceled him from promised land. Are you kidding me? Abraham did not do 40 days. Moses did. Moses did. Moses paid the heaviest price 
Abraham did not have millions of people. Abraham did not have millions of people harassing him. Moses. Hallelujah. Moses. Amen. Moses got the highest insult. Moses was humiliated by men, despised. God was fighting for him like no other man in the Bible. But anger arose like a beast and blew great opportunities. Blew great opportunities. If Joseph was, was if, if, if Joshua had anger, he would be disqualified to receive the mantle. Disqualified. Disqualified. If God has enrolled you to receive something great, don't let anger step in between. Arrest that demon. It has followed you, followed your family. And now you want to show up now. If you show up before anybody that can bless you, you pray to God because if that person that can bless you is provoked, from the blessing can be turned to a curse. Because you know that one whatever they say can address your destiny. Control your emotion. Master yourself. Master yourself. Master yourself. There are people that are carriers of blessing, carriers of divine unction. Don't lose it. Don't lose your, your cool. Don't lose it. You need you need people. Anna came before Anna came before the priest, and all she needed was a blessing and agreement. And as long as the pastor says you are blessed, everything will change. You are blessed, you are blessed. You are blessed. But there are people they can and they think they think that grace are equal. Grace are not equal. Listen to me. Grace are not equal just because you can pray. Get yourself ready. Get yourself ready. There are people that are receiving judgment instead of grace in the house of God. People that are receiving how can they come before Peter? Pe pe I mean, people are getting blessed by Peter. Some people are living blind because they came before Peter with the wrong motives. Wrong motives. Those are the people I'm not talking to. But the people I'm talking to on the prayer line. And everyone that is listening to the sound of my voice, let not your flesh speak on your behalf. When you have labored every time, labored, and then the mantle is about to come upon you, that is when you allow the old beasts to betray you from your promised land. May you not miss your promised land. May you not be among those that talk anyhow when God is about to release a blessing upon you. May you, not be, the, may you be the people that recognize greatness when it's time before you. Let me tell you something. Great people, when they come before you, they are very simple. Very simple. Very simple. It says grace to recognize divine grace. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Shout this loud and clear. Magada barada rios. Every root of anger in my life. Every root of weakness in my life. of anger in my life set up to betray me of my blessings set up to betray me of my blessings please address this route address this route the woman wants to get married love this man she made one mistake the anger just showed up Address the man like a papa, like a rat. Spoke so much, and this woman, you, you are so anointed. But you didn't even know when all these words came out. And the man said, This one, you marry this one, you are in trouble. You marry this one, you are in trouble. Everything came like, like a lion. Sprrr, sprrr, just, and then you come down, start crying. Who, who did this to you? It's a spirit. If you don't address the spirit, it will rob opportunities from you. To rob opportunity, if you think that it, it is the man's character or it is another person's character, no. The Bible says, judge yourselves before others judge you. Judge yourself before you stand before kings. Judge yourself before you stand before your helpers. Arrest that thing that will hinder you, that will cut you short. Moses did not have a time to pray. Moses did not have his own quiet time to deal with that root of anger. He didn't have deliverance ministry then. The small giant called anger was what wrecked Moses' ministry. The man said, the Bible says he was the most humblest man on the earth. But he never he entered the place until the New Testament. 
that will not be your portion you are so anointed by God God came down but anger and inherited anger was able to cut you off what kind of nonsense is that Pharaoh did not cut you off but anger cut you off <laughs> it's every root of anger every weakness in my blood manifesting in the time of my breakthrough to rob my glory to bring shame upon my life as I begin to pray be destroyed to your roots with fire as you pray angels of God will go before you God will go before you and begin to clear the way in the name of Jesus every weakness in my blood every anger in my blood affecting my destiny be destroyed with fire Open your mouth and fire prayer. Regada barakada barada ribebia. El legada rebebia. Irregada rebebia. Regada Wait, wait, wait a second. Amen. Is, is that the way you're going to pray this prayer? Listen to me. Listen to me. The anger was what made God to almost forget Moses' loyalty. He almost forgot Moses' relationship. Moses was asking for a deeper relationship with God. But that anger, God saw him as disobedient. God himself swear that Moses should not enter the promise. Many of us are praying this prayer too cheaply, like you just want to attack an enemy. The enemy is within, and that is that weakness we gotta deal with. If you don't judge yourself, you can be judged by others. And believe me, that would be disgraceful. If you must pray this prayer, apply so much aggression. All this complaining, all this short, uh, short, uh, short, uh, short attention span, all this. Uh, and um, somebody correct you today, you can't even pick up the phone. The Bible says many, many people there will be so much offense in the last days. People will be easily irritated, easily offended, easily. People will say, "Oh, I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear." They don't want to correction anymore. They don't have that strength anymore. I'm one of the very few people that have been privileged to expose myself to strong, the strongest messages of God in the earth. When you talk about dying to self, there are some times that I'm being in the service. They all they talk about is pride. That time I didn't want to hear the message on pride. I want to run away. But I realized that every word of God has a sword. The word of God is sharper than a two-edged sword. And when it cuts, and when you begin to feel the cutting in your, your belly, listen to me. God, you are experiencing deliverance. Are you hearing me today? There are some messages I've heard about dying to flesh. And I see myself full of pride. And when I begin to hear those, I scream with him. But when I let go of my ego and I let the sword hit me, when I come out, I come out cleansed. Many people lack the self-motivation messages. But we never really cry out to God. Lord, purify me, cleanse me. How far have I gone? When you start your Christian life, you want everybody to tell you the truth, not a lie. Right now on the earth, everybody wants motivation messages. And that's why many of us tune into Joe Austin, tune into T.D. Jakes, and that's all we want to hear. When they say, there is the devil in your camp, we don't want to hear it. We don't want deliverance. We don't want anybody to tell us how dirty our toilet is. How nasty our toilet is. We want to appear clean before everyone. And that's all we should be addressed. Who told you that? Hallelujah. If your toilet is dirty, flies will come into your toilet. Every man here on the prayer line has a toilet. You on Periscope has a toilet. Everybody has a toilet. And nobody will wash your toilet. That's why the Bible says, Upon my design, there shall be what? Deliverance. Upon what? The kingdom of heaven, Zion. There shall be what? Deliverance. 
you must wash your toilet. If you don't wash your toilet, it will begin to stink. The smell will be coming out. I mean, everybody will smell it. Are you hearing me today? It will attract demons. And so, no, nobody wants to be told how they should live their life. But I'm, the Lord is sounding a warning to all of us. If you don't pray this prayer, asking God to pur purify our temple, to cleanse us, drive away this filthiness, demons will enter our temple and we will, we will be worried. How come demons are oppressing us every day? I said, let's pray this prayer and nobody really want to pray. But when I begin to talk about deliverance, Lord, bless me, prosperity, everybody is shouting fire. Wherever you are, please pray this prayer. The reason why you're not able to endure strong messages is because there are so many spirits in your temple. One message, you are shouting, you are screaming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I follow Sadhu, my prophet, my father. One of the strongest messages when I was in Israel. I got there and I was so happy after going with Benny Hinn. I had this big, a big gold, a big raw gold ring in my hand. Worth $3,000 with ruby. And I got this, my glasses, the Armani glasses, shade glasses, was in Israel, moving, like movers and shakers. And I came before Sadhu's ministry. And I was giving business card to all the pastors. You can invite. So all of us were exchanging numbers. I didn't know that this is a different ministry. Sadhu got here, he said, some of you pastors, you have entourage, you have big chains, necklaces, you have, you have people around you opening a door, car doors. Humble yourself. I see the sword of God. Humble yourself. I say, my God, what kind of message is this? Some of you have big rings. Take it out. I say, oh boy. That I begin, I was feeling the sword after the service. He said, you are coming here to meet the, with the Lord. Not, to, not for contact. Meet with him. Pour your heart. Expose your pride before him. And I was crying like a baby. I said, see how messed up I am. If I never came here, he said, many of you pastors are Balaam. If I never came to this ministry, I would probably would have ended up in hell. But I, I was exposed to myself to strong messages. Strong messages. Not religious, not, not, not religious, not Pharisee kind of messages, but strong messages. Bitter, but redemptive. Bitter, but redemptive. That's why the Bible says, his word was as sweet as honey in my mouth, but bitter in my belly. Bitter. Bitter. Every strong soldier of the Lord has gone through heavy brokenness. Messages of brokenness. Hallelujah. I want you to say this prayer because we need to pray so we can move on to the next. Every root, every root of anger. Every root of weakness in my life. As I pray, my father destroy it with fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Regede baraka da rebe bi abradi. Ilegede rebe 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 kabaya. Ilegede rebe 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 kaba. Libra da rebe 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 kabere biya. Manda rebe 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 kabaya da. Regede rebe 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 kabere biya. Libra da rebe biya abradi. Lord, here am I. Labra kaza baha. Regede rebe 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 kabere biya. Regede rebe 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 kabere biya. Manda rebe 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 kabere biya. Regede rebe 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 biya. Regede rebe 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 in Jesus name we pray Amen Amen Shout this loud and clear Ya baraka do Say witchcraft power operating through my life. Witchcraft power operating in my life. Die by fire. 
Every wish for power operating through my life, in my life, your spirit of rebellion, your stubbornness, I command you to die. Die to your root. Every root of rebellion, every root of stubbornness, I say die, 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 die. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say this on a clear. Say this on a clear. Say every unseen forces. Every unseen forces. Every demons. With special assignments against my life. As I pray. I bind you and I command you to torment your mess your, your I command you to torment your messengers are you ready for prayer today those demons that receive instruction to come and oppress you while you were sleeping those demons that receive instruction to torment your menstruation those demons that receive instruction to come to your house to begin to afflict you with headache with back pain those demons must carry their instruction back to the messenger that sent them are you ready for prayer how can somebody sit in the house and begin to give instruction to demons to come and afflict you and they come and they come and arrest you they sent 450 men to elijah if beers son of man come down the word come down means let us entice you. Come down from your high level. Demons will not just come and arrest you when you are high in the spirit. They met Elijah. He was fasting. And every time you are fasting, you are on a mountaintop. Demons cannot reach that mountaintop. There is what they call a snake line. The line that demons cannot reach. Only eagles arise in that mountain. Elijah, come down. If thou be a son of God. Periscope. You need to invite people. You need to announce this thing. You need to announce this prayer line. Don't be dormant. Hallelujah. Praise God. You must be useful in the house of God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. Are you ready for prayer today? Everyone in the prayer line, you have less than what? How many months remaining? How many months remaining before the end of this year? Some people are just, I'm, I'm not hearing you. How many? How many? Okay, very soon I'm going to ask everyone how many souls you have won to the Lord? How many souls you've really preached the gospel? If you enter into 2018 without one soul giving the life to Jesus, something is wrong with you. Something is wrong with you. He that winneth soul is wise. Amen? He that what? Winneth soul is wise. Even if you don't want to believe Jesus, let them say the prayer with you. My brother, you want to say this prayer of agreement? Lord Jesus, come into my heart. L say that prayer with them. Lead them into that prayer. Amen? Let them at least say it. Before the end of this year, make an aggressive time to evangelize to at least one person. Find those who are oppressed. When they, when they start telling their problems, okay, say listen to me. Can I pray with you? Say this with me. I will give you life to Jesus. And that's how you start. Before the end of this year, your life must matter and your life must be fruitful. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you, are you hearing me today? I bind that spirit of fear. And may, may you be bold to declare his message. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you hearing me today? If you are scared, invite them to church. Invite them to the prayer line. And test me and say, Pastor, I invited somebody. She has not given her life to Jesus. Help me. And I will help you. Are you hearing me today? They are feeling oppressed. Say, listen, I'm going to give you my pastor's number. Call him. And they say, Pastor, please help me. This is what she's going through. I don't think she's giving her life to Jesus. Help me in that area. 
and me and you will be crowned in glory for that vessel, that soul that has been saved. Are you hearing me? I don't want us to be rolling around speaking in tongues. Let, uh, let our lives be valuable. Let us add value in lives. Changing lives and redeeming lives. Are you hearing me today? Make an impact, not noise. There's so much noise in the body of Christ. So much noise, so much gathering. Jesus was not sent to a multitude. He was sent to who? To disciples. Disciples. When they left, he knew that 120, 120 people carried fire. Carried fire. On this prayer line, I believe that God is going to deposit fire inside of your belly. It's going to what? Deposit fire in your belly. Fire will speak. If you are in New York, I beg of you, very soon, we have been saying that very soon the flyers will come. All those who are making the flyers, we pray on your behalf. I will declare the hand of God <laughs> to be upon you. As a flyer comes, amen, please find your, find your journey to come to that event. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This event will not be will not be hosted by prophets. It will not be hosted by pastors. It will be hosted by the Lord, the Lord Himself. The Lord Himself. The Lord will visit some of you. Hallelujah. I thank God for what is about to do in our lives. Lift your lift your hands up. And say, Lord Jesus. Break my ego. Some of you are scared to even say it. Say, Lord Jesus, break my ego. Are you ready for that prayer? Lord Jesus, break my ego. You know what they call ego? You know when you have a dog and you are taking your dog for a walk? When the dog begins to walk, so, walk ahead and the dog is the one leading you, you are pulling the dog back. That is how we are. God is trying to lead us. But we are going ahead of God. We are so hasty in our journey. Where are you going? Where are you rushing to? Where are you rushing to? You have been rushing for the past one year. Where have you been? Take it easy. The Spirit of God must speak to you. Are you hearing me today? Hallelujah. Say this loud and clear. <laughs> Say, my father, my maker. Every ego that makes me think before you. Say, my father. Every ego that makes me think before you. Break it by fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Reggae the rebe bege bere bebia. Ila gada rebe bere bebe kafaya. Reggae the rebe bege bere bebia. Reggae the rebe bere bebe ke bere bebia. La braga da rebe bere bebe kafaya nda. Reba ba reba ba ke bere bebia. Reggae the rebe bere bebe ke bere bebia. Reggae the rebe bere bebe bere bebia. Rebe bere bebe ke bere bebe bere bebia. Ila gada rebe bere bebe bere bebia. Reggae the rebe bere bebe bebia. Rebe bere bebe ke bere bebe bere bebia. Ila gada rebe bere bebe bere bebia. Reggae the rebe bere bebe ke bere bebia. Rebe bere bebe ke bere Every ego that makes me stink before you, my father, break it by fire, 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 in Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Hallelujah. Say, my father, shatter every stoniness in my heart. You see, when, you, when your heart is, when you are, listen to me, I have prayed for some certain ladies, okay, who don't even think that there's a stone in their heart, but they realize that they don't respond to emotions. Or they don't respond to people's pain, or they don't respond to people's grief easily. Okay, the Bible says, when I began to pray, listen, when I began to pray, I saw transformation for them. When I began to pray for them, 
and, I, and the love of God begins to move on their heart. After God begins to break their heart, listen to me, their personality changes. Change. Now, before then, they were so irritating. Before then, they were reacting to everything. Before then, any small thing, they get angry. They don't know why. They just get angry. Because there's no peace. Once the enemy hardens your heart, there will be no peace in your heart. Once the enemy hardens your heart, you'll be so frustrated. You, don't even, you can't put your finger. Why? So that's why people come down after they worship God. After they've gone into deep worship. People now come down. It's like they're now they're not in their realm. They now begin to express and walk in love. It's very easy to walk in love after you worship God. Why? Because your heart has become tender. Your heart has become what? Tender and broken. When your heart is very hardened, listen to me. You'll be angry with everybody. You'll be impatient with people. You want to hang up the phone. They will say something about their pain. They're even crying. You'll be like, why are you crying? Why are you crying? Please, please, please. Because your heart is not tender. But when your heart is so tender, you'll be feeling their pain. You'll be crying with them. They'll be telling they are sick. And when you're interceding for them, you'll be, it's like you are, you are crying for them. And God is hearing your prayer because you are, you are, you are not, you are not, you are not, uh, you are feeling the pain. Are you hearing me today? It's a prayer that if you pray this prayer, you will flow easily in worship. You will flow easily in worship. Hallelujah. You can be easily offended if your heart is hard. And that's the greatest secret I'm telling you. God spoke to Moses, and we had in Pharaoh's heart that I might destroy him. You know how many times Pharaoh repented? You know how many times Pharaoh changed his heart? But God kept hurting his heart so that he can bring him to judgment. That one was condemned to judgment. Moses, I mean, sorry, Nebuchadnezzar, as hard as, hard as his heart was, he came to a place of brokenness. Lord, every stone of rebellion in my heart shatter it in the name of Jesus Christ shatter, destroy it in the name of Jesus, it is a stone in your heart that will resist conviction it is your stone in your heart that will resist the voice of God why did God say, I knock, I stand at your door I knock on your heart, on your door open if any man can open, that is your door, that is the stone shout this loud and clear say every stone of offense in my heart <laughs> blocking the voice of God be shattered by fire. Regede rebebe kabasa da raba baya. El legede rebebe rebebe ya baradia. El regede rebebe ya. Every stone of offense in my heart, my father, shattered by fire, shattered, destroyed by fire. El regede rebebe kabandaria. Lay your hands upon your heart. Lay your hands upon your heart. Lord, I shatter. Lord, I destroy. Every stone, every stone, every stone of rebellion, every stone of wickedness, every stone, stubborn stone in my heart, I destroy it by fire. My father, let the stone be destroyed. Let the stone be destroyed. Lord, destroy the stone. Every stone in my heart. Every stone in my heart blocking my soul. Every stone in my heart blocking my emotion. Every stone in my heart blocking the love of God. I break the stone by fire. I shatter the stone by fire. Let my heart become tender. Let my heart become broken. My father, let me be broken before you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Have you noticed? Have you noticed? Have you noticed that people who are not even broken, 
and the ones telling other, other people how to be broken. Have you noticed that? Amen? When you can be insulted by people who are under you or below you, when you can be insulted, amen? Hallelujah? If you can be insulted by people who are not as blessed or privileged like you, and you are still able to walk away without saying nothing, trust me, you have a humble character. If you can be insulted and despised, or insulted vocally, or rudely, or treated out of respect, or you can be disrespected, hallelujah. Amen. If you can be disrespected by somebody who is not as old as you, by somebody who is not as old as you, maybe in ministry, by somebody who is not as smart as you, and you don't even react, you receive what they say, and you choose to separate the nonsense, the filth of the flesh from the spirit. Truly, truly, you are on the path of serious brokenness. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah. Praise God. The many, many of us will react so quick. You're not broken yet. You're not broken. When you are broken, you will be like Jesus, the King of Kings that made men with his own image, that made men from his own self. And the same men that, that you made, who are like toys, will begin to slap you, spit on you, call you murderer, and you don't even react. At the end of the day, you say, forgive them, for they don't know what they do. That is, that is a father. That is brokenness. Brokenness. A leader who is higher than you insults you. That's it all. You will not even come on the prayer line anymore. You will not even pick up anything. But Jesus was despised so much, insulted. He says, forgive them. Forgive them. Forgive them. Hallelujah. We are far. All of us are far from that area of brokenness that the Lord requires from us. Many of us are far from that. Can anyone talk to you anyhow without your ego being on the way? Can anybody question who you are without you responding or defending yourself? Do you have that tenacity? Do you have that inner stamina to resist the voice of the flesh crying out against you? Today, let us make a thorough examination of who, are, who, who we are before God. Angels have been watching and evaluating our reaction. Our reactions. Hallelujah. Mm. Glory to God. How many of us want us to do some, some a little bit of Bible study here? I want us to say some say some things. Amen. How many of you, how many of you want us to do some Bible study here? Are you sure? Are you sure? Glory to God. If you're not ready for this message, huh? anyways, you, know, you, 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 we are all refined now. I believe now. Let us let us get into the word. Amen. Let's get into the word. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter four. The prayer line number. Somebody is asking for the prayer line number. Please give them the prayer line. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody post it. Amen. Post the prayer line, please. Hallelujah. Please post the prayer line. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah, amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, amen. <clears throat> Please, I want to announce for the crusade again. It's going to be November 10th to the 12th. 10th to the 12th, hallelujah. 10th to the 12th, 10th to the 12th. One of our last crusades in America before we go overseas, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4. Worthy, you are worthy. 
King of kings, Lord of lords, you are worthy, worthy, you are worthy, King of kings, Lord of lords, I worship you. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above the heavens. Let your glory be above all the earth. Let your glory be above all the earth. O Lord, my God. How excellent is your name in all the earth. How excellent is your name. Ephesians chapter 4. I love what this guy, this guy writes. Amen. I love what he says. He says, I therefore, the prisoner, Father, open your word. Reveal your hidden mysteries within your world. Let revelational wisdom be released, imparted into our spirit as everyone begins to hear from the world. Lord, I pray that the spirit behind your world, the rema revelation behind your world, the very life that quickens our inner man, let that same spirit, Father, be released inside of us. As you spoke, we were strengthened. We engage revelation today and we ask as we can, give us our daily bread, our hidden manna from your world today. Let your light, let your word break out as light in our body, in our system. Let faith come alive and let not this world be stolen and harvested from our life and our destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am praying by the power in the Holy Ghost. Let glory, somebody, hmm, Bakatabadadias on periscope, in periscope, hallelujah, hallelujah. Is somebody hearing me today? Somebody say, Praise God. Somebody say, Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God. Hmm. Hallelujah. I am praying that the unction from above, the all year of your spirit, that as we listen to your word, Father, let there be angelic manifestation of your message being released to the church as not only those who are hearing us on periscope hearing us on the prayer line but all those who will watch after and watch before let the sword of your conviction of your spirit let the sword that purifies that changes man that redeems man that revives man be activated now that as it as we listen to your word spirit of god drive your word into our blood drive your word into our spirit let faith come alive. Let fear die. Let courage arise in the name of Jesus. Let a fresh door of understanding be opened before us. I thank you that there's a fresh delivery, hot bread from the throne of grace. I pray that, Lord, you will interpret every message by your spirit of wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. Let it brood over your people. Let it brood all over us. Let your fresh presence guard us, hide us, from the evil one i bind the spirit of destruction i bind the spirit of weariness revive us today in jesus name we pray amen amen hallelujah ephesians chapter 4 and verse 1 therefore the prisoner of the lord beseech you that you walk worthy of the lord vocation walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called this man is calling himself a prisoner of the Lord. With all lowliness, meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. Amen. Forbearing what? One another in love. Hallelujah. In with all lowliness and meekness, long suffering, forbearing one another in love. When you begin to walk in in this love in this act love all you want to do is to intercede and help them grow help them to be strong deal with every man with patience and with love making sure that things do not get out of hand because when you walk in love you walk in god 
enduring to keep the unity of the spirit and the bond of peace look at this number three many people are breaking the rules some of us have reached a place now that i told you they get offended they turn off their phone you get offended you want to pull away from people you get offended you don't want to do anything with them that is not what you do when somebody begins to react to you you don't do that you in fact you want to show them the light that's number one number two you want to engage the ministry of reconciliation somebody say ministry of reconciliation you see the ministry of reconciliation is a mean listen to me people when they came close to me mm, where is my i don't have my perfume here hallelujah i don't have my perfume here but until before the perfume can come out you have to spray the perfume and when you when you by spraying the breath perfume you have to apply pressure you have to what i apply pressure and to apply pressure when you apply the pressure then the very fragrance within the content of the perfume flows out is when you press that perfume when you press that cologne the fragrance within the perfume comes out when it comes out you smell and people smell the goodness inside of you many people nowadays when you press them a little bit you begin to feel the evil that comes out of them sometimes the negative pressure comes out I want to encourage you as much as when you are being pressed make sure as much as you are offended make sure you don't say a word that grieves the spirit you make sure you don't say a word that destroys another hallelujah you make sure you're trying to guard yourself because sometimes this beast this flesh can make us do things that we don't even understand some of us when you have not slept for a while when you have lost sleep your reaction can be so brutal that when when small pressure comes you'll get so angry now in the midst of that anger know that it's not you and know that it's not them that is intentionally trying to make you angry try to what not to see words that are unbiblical hold yourself because if you say words out of or, or, or scripture then it means that you've lost control of your body or you've lost control of the beast it's like holding a dog taking a walk with your dog and the dog goes out to start biting people but you have the dog on a leash but you allow the dog to go bite people why it's your responsibility hold the dog because if the dog bites people you will be the one to be arrested so many people have come to that place whereby if you don't hold your flesh if you don't master your flesh from attacking someone when you are angry the devil can be angry at you the, your dog can be angry but that doesn't mean you become angry with people or allow the dog to bite people that dog is your flesh that dog is that old personality inside of you if you've messed up if you allow the dog to bite somebody, your flesh to deal with somebody, go back and apologize. To apologize, to say I'm sorry, there is always a reward from God behind I'm sorry. And that reward is guaranteed that he will exalt you. Before God will exalt you, it requires humi a, a humility. The word humility is the word humiliation. People don't want to be humiliated anymore. You can be on the phone with somebody. And because they have so much ego, they want to hang up before you hang up. Because of the ego, they want to they make sure they don't they want to call you, but they don't want to call you. So they want you to call them before they before you before they can call. So by them calling you, they feel like they are humbling themselves. So they want you to call them. Or they want they want you to they don't want to beg, but they want you to beg. To plead with them they, they have a need but they can't say sir please help me 
these are little little i don't know i don't know where we got all this mindset mind mind games these are all spirits these are all voices of manipulation of pride so that we can be exalted and we need to be very watchful in this area because god is rewarding every act of humility you know when you're so sincere you're so real you don't even care sometimes we have so much problem in our life we don't want to tell people our issues because we want to look like an angel before people that's that's pride just be relaxed be yourself amen bring down the walls sometimes because of our heart so we want to protect be a shield you know so that we don't reveal our true self so that we cannot we will not be despised or humiliated in the future or looked down upon that's pride let god exalt you and do you know that the more you are just sincere real whether if children can approach you, Jesus and people who are young can approach you, anybody can approach you and they can do anything and you just, you don't penalize them. As long as you have that kind of mentality, with that act, God will keep rewarding you. God will keep rewarding you. God will keep rewarding you. God will keep, you know what? For every act of humility that you show, God rewards you with his vocation. He will exalt you. You are saving your bank. God will begin to exalt you. Exalt. Are you hearing me? Praise God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Keeping the unity of the spirit. Hallelujah. Keep the unity of the spirit. Hallelujah. Always strive. Amen. Always strive to say I'm sorry. Just for the sake of peace. Always strive for unity. Your husband offend you. Your wife offend you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't. I didn't feel like you want. You see this way. I'm so sorry. And you begin to apologize. With that, God will reward you. With, he will reward you and exalt you. Are you hearing me? Every time you want to pray, listen. The bond of peace means when a brother calls you, a sister calls you, say, "Let's pray." By you praying, is a bond of peace. That is the bond of the God Himself. You are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are doing the Bible says if two and three shall agree as touching anything you will never call anybody to pray or you will never call your pastor say let's pray together some of us don't have the time for that you must get God in your schedule if you don't do that God is the one seeing all that but when you drop all that drop all that and you become like a servant Oh, sir, so, okay, okay, let's pray. Let, well, God rewards you. There's a great, immense revelation in that and blessings. Keep the unity of the spirit. When you break the unity and there's disunity, you're divided in your heart, divided in that, it's not biblical. There is one body, one spirit, even as you are called in one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, Look at what it says. Verse 10. He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all the heavens, that he might fill all things. He gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, and some teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, and for the edifying of the body of Christ. To edify for the perfecting of the saints, hallelujah, and for the work of the ministry. Yesterday, I was showing some things about how different countries will follow the patterns at which God is going to do the pace at what God is going to do prophetically on the earth. And particularly, I began to mention how Nigeria will be on the forefront. And I perceive that some people were getting offended with that. The reason I say this is to let you know is this. Let me, tell, let me just say this with you. The reason I say this, huh, in all honesty, is this. That Jesus said to Peter before he left, he says, upon this rock will I build my church, and the gate of hell shall not prevail. Now that word, and the gate of hell shall not prevail. Look at all the nations of the world. And put in brackets, the gates of hell shall not prevail. There are churches all over the world that are spreading like wildfire. 
South Korea, young Icho, started that one of the biggest churches. Now, Africa is taking over now. The church was once ravaged by poverty. Hallelujah. You are seeing 10,000, 10,000, 15,000, 50,000 in, in Nigeria, 100,000, 500,000, you know. I mean, the crowd is just growing, growing. People are building churches left and right, 70,000. And these are not just one, two, three people. 20, 30 pastors rising. People think it's just money laundering. No, 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 no. It's not that. And they, I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. And those who are busy building the church of God, it's not them. God is literally building his church, establishing it on the land. And the country that is not hostile towards such churches, the country that is actually, the churches that are progressing in that land, the more they progress and increase in size in that land, is the more the kingdom of heaven is being established in that land. Are you hearing me today? All of us should get ready and the gates of hell. Listen to me. If your church is growing so big and large and you don't have authority to say no to the gates of hell, <laughs> for every church that is approved by heaven, God will always send his angels, angel Michaels, to be able to fight against the gate of hell. And the gate of hell shall not prevail. Hallelujah. In this end time, we must be trained warriors. Back to acts, kingdom warriors. That's why the Bible says, restore the bond of peace. You must be strategic fighters. Don't just go to any kind of prayer line. Connect with those who are kingdom, not church. Not, not church. You see, when you are doing church, you can be caught up with my own empire. But when you are, you are kingdom based, you look at the kingdom overall. The churches all over that are progressing. You begin to see like God. You, begin, you become a mouthpiece. And if you are loyal to your call, when you are answering prayer calls at night, and an angel will wake you up, 12 a.m., says, pray, start prayer. Pray for my sister. She's going through. Pray, pray, pray now. Pray for my brother. Pray now, pray now, pray now. Hallelujah. Some people are so sensitive just for their children, sensitive just for their husband, sensitive just for their wife. But when you become sensitive in the Holy Ghost, the Lord says, get up now. Start praying for Pastor Behiri. He needs your help. Start praying for him right now. And you start praying, start praying. And you begin to see the intense prayer. Guess what? The next day, God will wake you up. Say, pray for this brother. Pray for this sister. Pray for this. And you start doing that. Before you know it, when something bad wants to happen in your city, God will call you up to heaven. And he will not tell you what is about to take place. So go and pray. We are looking for people to pray to stop this act. <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus. I said I was going to pray a prayer. I wanted all of us to pray, but I'm just going to say the prayer now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, every man, every woman, every gathering, every institution, every secret, every secret agent, that gather together to commit this mass murder in Las Vegas. Whoever was sent to do this act, let them be exposed. Jehovah, let them be exposed. Let the angels of God arise and let the veil be we set that veil on fire. Let the man or the woman, father that occupies a wicked position, be brought to ransom, be brought to judgment in the name of Jesus. Those of Periscope, I'm not hearing you say amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Wolo brother, ribebi apara kasa bahanda ya lebende lebeka pa ya. Amen. So God gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, and some teachers. Amen. The word evangelist, pastors, teachers, all these things. Amen. He said what? For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, and the edifying of the body of Christ. Amen. Now. We, the Bible says we see in part, we know in part. Amen? So it's just like a prophet can minister differently from an evangelist. And they see differently the size of God. They tap into different revelations of God. They don't see exactly like the way they see it, but they understand differently. Amen? There are different perceptions in God. That doesn't mean one is evil and one is bad. They are all different levels and different sizes. As, as you grow, you see. As you grow, you understand. 
Hallelujah. That is why we should be very careful not to criticize one another as long as they are in God, as long as they are in faith with God. Hallelujah. The way apostles see can be different from what the way prophets see. Prophets' eyes, they see to the roots and they see the root cause of your problem, the root cause of your issues. That's the way prophets see it. Hallelujah. Apostles see the overall. Pastors see you from the general view. As long as you are fine, physically, fine. They, look, they are more on the natural. Pastors, more on the natural care, your personal care, your personal needs. Evangelists, they are more of, are you saved? Are you saved? Are you really saved? That is their messages. When an evangelist talks to you, all they want you is to, to be on fire. Fire for the gospel. Fire for the Lord. Fire for the things of God. Are you on fire? That's what evangelist always talks about. Being filmed with the gospel. But teachers, they begin to break the world. Teachers begin to explain the scriptures. Teachers begin to point to, to you the ways of God. And you see, a teacher can only take you as far as they are in God. If a teacher has no, if a teacher is still in the religious level, or is still under the religious veil, they can only take you to that realm. And whatever they are saying, God can apply His own revelation to what they are saying to you to help you go further. You see, Moses was telling them, "I'm taking to the land of flowing milk and honey," and so because of his, 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 his whatever blocked in the flesh, others, Joseph, uh, Joshua, Caleb, were able to go further. But he could not go. So despite your teacher, your prophet, your prophet, whoever it is, operating the flesh, can be teaching some things. That doesn't mean they can hinder you. But if your hunger supersedes their hunger, God can take you further. Hallelujah. The evangelist, they always want massive crowd. They always want ministry massiveness amen for the word perfecting of the saints perfecting of the saints it means that the saints god used the word saints when we say saints it means that they feel like they are they are clean now hallelujah but but what the lord is actually trying to say is that every saint what saint means an holy thing every saint yes god is calling them holy but the final state of a christian is a saint but before you get there to the place of holiness he says what for the perfecting you can be a saint but not yet being perfected to be perfected it means that what you have not perfected your work in god free away free away from the flesh or the dictates of the flesh you've mastered and tamed your old man and the the inner man is now manifesting who truly you are in god hallelujah glory to god amen he says now verse 13 till we all come in the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the son of god unto a perfect man unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of christ that we henceforth be no be no more children. Children always whine, 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 cry. They easily, they can, you, you, it's very hard to please them. Their, 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 their appetite are always very ferocious, very earthly. Give me, give me, give me, give me. That's their prayers. They, they, the Bible says, seek for his kingdom. Ask, it shall be given. Why? Knock, it shall be opened. Seek, and you shall find those who are matured in the body of christ god wants us to change our ways from asking to the place of always seeking seek ye first his kingdom it's only seekers that will be granted access to the kingdom of god hallelujah that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro Carried about by every wind of doctrine. Every wind of doctrine. 
You know, when you're a child, you can't discern who is wrong, who is right. Every new revival, you are there. One is, you are there. This one is, you are there. By the slight of man, cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to, to deceive. That's what happens to children. Children of God, they easily get deceived by any kind of voice. When you are matured, you see things. God doesn't want us to be an eaglet. He wants us to be what? An ego, whereby we can see. Eaglets sit down their nest and they're asking for the mother to bring food. Eagles, they see from far. Verse 15. This is just a short little bit of enlightenment of his, of his word. But speaking the truth in love. Hmm. Speaking what? The truth in love. Everyone on the prayer line wants everyone to speak. All of, all of us, want, we want somebody else to speak to us in love. Everyone, including animals. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ. Your words are this seasoned with God's love. Your words are this seasoned, amen, with the love of God. You must be heavily minded and you must make sure but the things you say are influenced by his love. From whom the whole body is fitted, joined, joined together, compacted by that which... Listen, listen to me. When you pray in your daily life, okay, and you are sent to evangelize, you are sent to edify, in your secret time, ask God, pour your love upon my heart. Remember, your heart is, is the bucket of emotions. If your heart is filled with God's love, every word you say, whether you are angry or not, there will be a release or impartation of His love in your words. But if you run dry of your, the love of God in you, trust me, what is the love of God? The love of God is the oil in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the engine of the car. And when, there, when there's no oil in the car, and the car is, you're running a car, the engine will break down because there's no oil. That love helps you to overcome the shortcomings of man. That oil insulates or hides the flesh in you from others. Now, when you begin to react and there's so much love in you, the love of God will swallow the negativity in you. The love of God will speak and when you say some strong words, and it's so strong, and you are saying it in God's presence, the love of God will come, even after the wound you've applied, your words have created a level of pain, of, of uh, open the flesh, the love of God comes and heals, heals, or seals the, the pain. Heals that person. The, the way the love of praise is so beautiful, that the Spirit of God can come through conviction, and the love of God can come. And, and, and seal those words that you said. All I've said today, if there's no love of God at all flowing through me, you will get even more angry. But if the love of God is there, it will show you that this is not man, this is God speaking to you. So let our words be clothed with God's love. If it's so heavy with God's love, listen to me. In the, in the, in the olden days, it was so strong that when God was speaking, they wanted Moses to speak to them. <laughs> Jesus is an embodiment of his love. Amen? It's an embodiment of his love. One of the things that we have to pray is the attacks against our mind. We need to really ask God, Lord, fill my mind with your love cover my mind which is the helmet of salvation lord i release the helmet of salvation upon my mind and break every fiery darts released against my mind hallelujah every veil must be destroyed we must grow in him we must grow in him we must grow in him we must grow in him, grow in him. hallelujah look at what it says 
verse 21 if so be ye that ye heard him and have been taught by him as the truth in jesus that ye put off the old ye put off concerning the former conversation of the old man which is corrupt according to the, to the deceitful lusts. there are some conversations that we should run away from there's some conversations that belongs to the old man which i told you about when you get into a conversation or you are angry and you are in a conversation deceit from any restrain yourself from any conversations that will come out from the flesh hallelujah but look at what it says it says what that verse verse 23 be ye renewed in the spirit of your mind that ye put off put on the new man which after god is created in righteousness and true holiness wherefore put away lying speaking every man with uh, truth with his neighbor for we are members of one another speaking what truth truth to one another verse 26 be ye angry see not let not the sin the sun go down on your earth neither give place to the devil see what i say anger gives place it gives a big room to the devil Anger causes a man to come and rob you of your glory, rob you of the favor, rob you of who you are. Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor. Look at what it says in verse 29, and we're going to brand it up now. Let no corrupt pro communication proceed out of your mouth. Anything that will defile you, don't let it come out of your mouth. In the midst of your anger, Hold yourself. I don't know why I'm speaking about anger today. Hold yourself. Restrain yourself. Hallelujah. Let it minister grace to the hearers. Look at what it says, verse 30. It says, Grieve not the Holy Spirit of God. Let all bitterness and wrath, anger, clamor, evil speaking be put away, be put away from you. With all malice. This verse 31. Many of us are falling for this. The bitterness, the wrath, the anger, the clamor, the evil speaking. It says, put them away. Put them away from you. With all malice. Say, clear them away from your life. Be kind to one another. Tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, has forgiven you. Let us always have a heart to forgive. We are so quick to criticize, criticize, so quick. Calm down. Put yourself in their shoes. If you don't like people to criticize you, don't criticize people. Don't criticize people. Hallelujah. People are struggling every day. People are struggling on every day. Don't be very quick. Don't be too quick to begin to judge. You must be Christ-like. Maintaining the bond of peace. Let your words be filled with grace to the hearers. Let your, word be, let your words carry grace. I've said this before. As much as your words can cause pain before people, Make sure you also use that same word, that same mouth, to pray for them. Every day, if you go about using your mouth in the wrong way against people, make sure you use your mouth to edify, to lift another, to pray, to bless them. If you are being influenced by the flesh, if you are being influenced by the flesh, hallelujah, if you are being influenced by the flesh, Thank you, Holy Ghost. If you're being influenced by the flesh to hinder you, if you're influenced by the flesh to speak against the blessings of God, make sure you arise and correct it with a spiritual correction. If, let's say, you say some things that were very wrong, call the person back. Say, let me pray for you. Why are you doing that? I don't know. Let me just bless you. Why are you saying that? The reason why is 
if the devil manipulated your flesh to react negatively, correct it by praying for the person. Let the Spirit of God flow through you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank God for his love today. And I believe that in the name of Jesus, God will release his grace upon you. I decree that by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, may your weakness be hid away from the enemy. May you be so insulated in God's love. That every time you react, love will speak for you. Love will hide you. Love will keep you. May your words be so baited and carried, carried, marinated with God's love. And even when the word of God is coming out of you like a blazing fire, that the love of God will, cook, will heal as it comes and opens the heart of man. If the love of God will come and heal their heart immediately. I pray that may you be a strong carrier of God's love. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We're all over the house. I want you to begin to pray in tongues and say, Lord, I thank you. Begin to pray in the spirit and say, Lord, I give you the praise. Pray in the spirit and pray in the Holy Ghost and say, Lord, I thank you. Regadaraba, Sade Badaraba Kadosh, Liben Televebe Rebebe Gapanto Rababaya Baradi, Zodeve de Rebebe Rebebe Gaparadorios. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. Begin to give him the glory. Rada Rababa Rebebeas. Zedebe de Rebebe Gapanto Labada Lebea, Regge de Rebebea Baradia, all over. Begin to appreciate the Lord. Begin to appreciate the Lord. Rada rebebe kabarando rebebios. Zerebe de rebebe rebebe abarande rebebios. Zade brada raba rebebe 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 abaradi. Lebranda rebebe 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 abaradi. Rege de rebebe 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 abaradi. Shada raba raba kabar raba 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 kabarando rios. Zerebe rebebe 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 abarando rebebios. Lord, I worship you. Lord, I praise your name. I give you the glory. I give you the honor. I give you the adoration. You are everything to us. Be thou exalted. What a mighty God. Zerebe rebe 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 bia raba ba raba ba ga ba raba ba yam brandish Thank you Lord Jesus Ali bande de bebe bia ba dos Te ba da raba ba rebe bia ba ndo de Dios rebe be rebe be rebe bia ba ndo de bien Ele rebe be rebe be ga ba rebe bia ba di Zara ba raba ba rebe be ga ba rebe bia ba ndo de Dios Librando rebebe rebebe abarando rebebe 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a God we serve. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit, we worship you. It's the name of Jesus. Thank you for it. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, Rebecca, Rebecca, Balande, Rebecca, 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 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Libra da Raba 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 Ragada Raba 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 name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. My God, Lord, give me strength in Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless everyone. You are loved in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. That's a powerful testimony. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I love that. I love that. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Give me grace, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Amen. I bless your name in the name of Jesus. You release the fire of your spirit upon us. Amen. All right. God bless you guys. Somebody said this after me. He said, I will give myself. I give myself wholly to the gospel. Say, I give myself wholly to the gospel. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, God bless you. God bless you. I'm so happy. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yeah. God bless God. Amen. I love I love what I'm saying and I'm excited for you. Amen. Be strong in God, okay? Everyone here. Be strong in God. Hallelujah. Please, uh please. Amen. Do not forget the prayer line. Do not forget, amen. Hallelujah. Our event coming up this 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 month. I'm mean, sorry, in uh, November. Hallelujah. Amen. It's going to be powerful. Start booking your tickets. Amen. Hallelujah. Those who are nearby, not many of you are going to drive. So, hallelujah. I'm remembering and praying for all of you. God bless you guys. Amen. Let's share. The... God bless you. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, sir. Yes. 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 I'm hearing you. Can you for me? I want the house to collectively pray for me. I lost my mother-in-law. I'm When? Today? Yes, today. Well, when did, you, when did you lose her? Sorry to hear that. About two days ago. Two days ago. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay, well, we, get, we have to talk about this, okay? And then you call me, so we talk about it. What yeah. what happened to her? Why did she? Why, when did, why did she? Was she sick? Yeah, she had a protracted illness. Oh, wow. Mm. And this has been ongoing for a while now? No, about uh, two or three weeks. Two, three weeks, okay, okay. Well, and she, so she was, so, so you people were not prepared for it? You were not prepared for it? No. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the comforting of your love. Uphold your son. Uphold his family. I pray for that you comfort his family on every side. I decree that this grief be lifted. As they go to Africa, I pray for your favor to go before him. Lord, hide this family in your blood. We break the assignment of the enemy right now. I decree that, Lord, in the name of Jesus, what you have started with this family you will not finish. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will begin to do, continually do, and finish what you've started in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for the blessings of this family. I bless you from my heart. I bless you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are blessed, okay? God bless you. Yeah. God bless you. Yes. Okay, you told me you called me, but you never did. I was so sad. You were what? I was very sad. You were very sad. Yes. What time did you? When I said I will call you, did I tell you I will call you uh, yesterday? Yes, today we were talking, and you said I will never call you back uh, soon. I said. Um, Jesus said. Jesus said. Jesus said I'm coming soon. Has he come yet? Jesus said, I'm coming soon. Has he come yet? <laughs> My sister. <laughs> don't, don't, don't worry. Eh? It, is, it is well. I, I, will still, I will still return your call, okay? I will still return your call. Don't worry. Hmm? It, I, know, I know. Listen to me. I receive a lot of calls. So when I say I'll call you soon, I mean, I know many of you are expecting 10 minutes later, but sometimes I forget.
Okay. Okay. We will talk. We will talk today. Okay. okay I, hope, I hope so. Yes, I will. <laughs> it is well. <laughs> it is well. <laughs> it is well. <laughs> God help him, Lord Father. God give him more, more, more grace. Amen. It is well. It is well, Lord. Well, go, go. Anyways, I want you to have a good day today, okay? Mm-hmm. God bless you now. Have a good one now. Love you guys. Bye bye now. Mm-hmm. Blessings. Amen. And hallelujah.